This is a piece I'm going to present to you, um, which is part of a series of pieces I'm going to do for Sound Spiral, which will ultimately make part of a much larger piece of when we perform live, perform this live, that will all interlock. So what I'm going to do is play just this first piece. And this first piece is all about a coil spring. It's a portrait of a percussion device, which is a long coil with a bell on the end. Um, the normal coil ones that you often see in more modern music often just are a coil, but this actually has a bell at the end, which makes quite an interesting sound. Um, I'm doing it live. I have a score, and this is the score, this is a graphic score. It although it reads left to right, it's actually more of a process chart. Um, my style of composition is closer to something like a process in that it gives me spaces for improvisation, which is actually written in, but the shape of the piece is dictated when stages are actually completed. So it's like a checklist in many ways. <laughs> um, if you want, if you're interested, I'll be presenting specifically about my style of composition at Music and as Process, which is a symposium happening up at Huddersfield on the 29th of June, where I'll be doing another piece which uses pretty much the same technique. Of course, it's about trains. <laughs> That's about here. So what I'm going to do is, I'm performing this live. I know what it sounds like in stereo. I really have no idea quite how it's going to work in this environment. And when it gets transferred into the sound spiral, the eight channels will go into the 48 speakers, allowing each channel to have eight speakers, which does will then diffuse. This will allow to me to work really in several different dimensions at the same time. That will have ultimate control of moving this around in spiral, and by the same token, I have eight independent channels that I can work with at the same time. So it will be a complex piece. It will probably require a few rehearsals and a few technicalities to <laughs> sort out, but it's an interesting experiment. Um, and the basic principle, why I'm interested in the sound spiral is because it's a very, very unique environment that's really tunnel-like um, with these speakers. But then, by the same token, having these spiral of speakers is really quite untunnel-like. So I'm very intrigued to see what I can actually make in that space. And that's going to be part of it. So I'll get on and I'll play this piece.
sounds were derived from the one sound source. Um, it's all done by a good old fashioned means of um, speeding up and slowing down and doubling up etc. Just on in the, in the digital domain with sampling and um, the pad sounds were actually a granular sample of the ring. So if you actually hit the bell at the end, you cut off the front end, the actual attack, the actual sustained ring at the end I then granular sampled, just took that slight decay, which sustained for a very convenient length of time before it completely faded, and used that as a basis for granular sample, which I could then completely pitch across all 12 notes with the octave without any problems. Um, because it's come from a real instrument, it's very rich in harmonics, so lots and lots of pads and lots and lots of frequencies in there that you couldn't use conventional harmony with without doing some serious FFT extractions because you really have clusters upon clusters of sounds. Um, in another piece which I'm doing based on this, in a similar vein, I've got both church bells and this chorus spring sample from the live brass player. And the live brass player, I've used open music, which a friend was, uh, was talking about earlier, to actually extrapolate from the FFTs, various notes that I can actually use and combine both the brass and the bells, hence the title between the brass and the bells. But that's a general basic idea. And this is, as I say, this piece is a small section of what 
is going to go into a larger sound spiral piece. And the idea here is these sounds will create a very, very different environment. Can you do it live in the sound spiral? Yes. We haven't experimented with it yet, but that will be the next stage. Yes. Yeah. 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 Um, I guess the issue there is where do you sit? The only place I'm, I can conveniently sit practically is right in the middle of the